Hi, good afternoon. I'm taking your time to join us on the uh, IVF uh, Facebook today. I'm Dr. Lau, Lau Sun Yen, Ops and Gyne, specializing in uh, laparoscopy surgery and uh, IVF uh, program. Um, I'm present working in the Genesis IVF Center. That is situated at the Paragon 7 floor. Okay. The reason we're having a live talk today is uh, to raise awareness to the public regarding the uh, infertility problem. Well, infertility problem is basically is uh, actually not it's kind of a quite common among all. By definition, there's a one in eight couples uh, they have a problem getting conceived or they take years to get conceived. So by our definition, is uh, if you have a actual trying for it without any contraception, means uh, without taking any prevention, uh, you don't get conceived within a year. We think that it uh, might have some problem. Of course, uh, out of this, still ten percent of the couples who come forward have no problem. And uh, our sub objective today is uh, to help you find out. Is there any problem or is there any problem that we can overcome for you? Okay, and now there are people who do not wish to come forward because a lot of a social issue that people are feeling a bit shameful or shy. But uh, let me assure you, uh, there is nothing to be shameful about. And in fact, our practice now, there's uh, many people come forward. It's not that they couldn't get conceived. They rather check it out. They rather check it out now, see that is there anything they shouldn't wait or especially nowadays uh, our marriage age is getting uh, well, I would say that uh, more mature couples, they're getting older now instead of getting married very young age. So uh, we all know that why we have a difficulty in getting pregnancy, right? As the age goes up, the chance of getting lower. Right. So a lot of people come forward and check first. They check it after six month marriage to check, make sure things are okay so that they still can try the natural way for another half a year or one year before they seek for treatment or seek for any assistance in certain to different extent. Of course, if they hire uh, some kind of people eventually still have to go to IVF. But this is not the reason why I'm telling you, you must do IVF. You must come forward, check it early then late. Right? Because time to wait for anybody. The fact is that uh, as your age go, your eggs, as you, I'm mean, talking about woman part, the eggs numbers go down, the age very fast. And the quality particularly, it get, oh, it get worse, it never get better. Right? The same thing may happen to guys too. Right? Don't get me wrong, I seem to be a concentrated on woman, but uh, you understand, the infertility problem can involve both husband and wife. It can be a problem on the man part, on the woman part, or on both part. Okay, let's check it out now. Age-wise, I have to keep, keep reminding people, age-wise, let's say, uh, the best time to get pregnant, the easiest time, the least chance of getting abnormality, actually is between 20 to 30 years old. By the time we reach 30 years old, the nature has their own way to adjust while the chance of getting pregnant is getting, start getting lower and it's getting worse, particularly after age 35 and another standard, by the time we reach 40, the chance of getting very, very bad. How bad can be bad? Well, let's say for the group after 40 years old, um, the chance of getting pregnant, even though by the IVF with the latest technology, with the best part, well, it probably is not more than 30%. Not to excluding the chance that the chance of abnormal baby is getting higher. So, the for those especially married, trying for more than a year or two, or age touching 35, do not wish to waste time, come forward, let's do a check for you. What do we check? We are checking, basically checking on the both husband and wife, for guys, probably easier thing for them. Well, as long basically they can perform, we just take a sperm test. You look at roughly how the sperm doing, how's the quantity, how's the movement, all these things. It's a rough estimation, okay? But for women, there are rather more things to check and then uh, you can't check it at one shot sometimes. 
Sometimes you might check it after the ovulation, sometimes you check it uh, soon after the menses. And together, we can do a gynae checking during the, 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 uh, clinic of, uh, uh, the clinic time. We check for the egg, we check the uterus, we can do a pap smear, hand, all sort of things. Of course, there are people who are facing different problems, not physical one, it's more psychological one. Well, they find it difficult to consume marriage. Well, let's see what we can do for you. Of course, people who check it eventually found out they need treatment. Then people were asking, what kind of treatment do I need? Sometimes we said that everything looks good, but if you've been trying for four or five years, you do not get conceived. I will still recommend you to go to treatment to let us help you. Why? Well, let's say put it this way. If you don't consider the first five years of marriage, I would rather say that the next five years can't be getting easier, right? Of course, there are people who are pregnant soon after seeing me, they say that I'm a lucky face. Lah. What can I say? Right? Now, but do let's don't waste time knowing that, that things are the age to wait for us. So when you come for checking, what treatment do you need depends on the situation. Some people they just need a simple timing. Well, the commonest problem is that the, you know, heard of um, polycystic ovary, they have a lot of eggs, but none of them go into maturity. They don't go into maturity on their own, they need a bit of assistance, they need a bit of stimulation, they need us to time it to see when is the best time for ovulation, when is the best time to conceive. If we can help in that, or some people prefer to go a small step higher, they do an IUI. IUI means that uh, basically you're generally quite okay. But just that they are probably a timing problem. We help you do the timing problem. We help the, them to take the sperm, put it in the right place, shortcut. Right? But some, despite all the uh, timing, do IUI, they still don't get conceived. So we will proceed for IVF. IVF what we call in vitro fertilization. Well, IVF is a term we said that we are assisting take out the egg artificially. We take over the job of nature. We take out the egg, stimulate it, take out the egg on the right time, get the sperm prepared on the right day, take out the egg, put the sperm in, fertilize them, make them mating, and they become a small baby initial one called embryo. And that is the embryo we are putting into the uterus. Okay? How good is our success? Mm. I would say that we are actually reaching quite high success. Uh, basically, a lot of the issue is because of the timing of stimulation, everything is more mature, and uh, we have a very strong embryologist group. I uh, means the IVA team in the lab, they are perfect, they are good, and together with all the machine, things get, uh, the success rate is getting much better nowadays, but that's never 100%. Because you cannot take over the nature, which just help in a certain way. For example, if I do an IVF, I don't get a normal egg, I can't produce an embryo for you. And then the answer will be no, no. And these things getting worse if you get aging. That's why we say that don't wait. At least get the checking done and see what we can do. Alright? Well, what else my center offer you here? Basically, we are bringing the latest technology, we are doing a PGS, we are doing a real-time embryo score. That is the toast technology that helps the embryo grow in a more friendly environment. And then with the close monitoring, for, for example, embryo, embryo score real-time, we are checking how the embryo is developing every 10, 5, 10, 15 minutes with the recording. And we can detect early which one will make it, which one not make it without disturbing that much. Disturbing means that we cannot keep checking, taking out and check because they will affect the, a lot of things the uh, temperature, carbon dioxide concentration, and then uh, of course the uh, moisture. All this will affect the baby growth, the embryo growth. Right? With all this embryo scope, with the technology, mature technology, uh, technique from the embryologist, thing is getting better. So far, our success is quite okay. Quite okay means that we are quite proud of it. But again, it, if you divide into a different age group, older age group don't get pregnant easier, despite what we do. Alright? Okay.
No. There are people who call up asking for other technology. Well, they are asking, for example, they are asking ERA, ERA, they are asking how about sex selection, all these things. Now, ERA is a short form for this. Uh, uh, let's say I created every I want to put it into the uterus. They always, this thing we call timing. Is it the right time to put it in? ERA is one of the technology to check whether are we timing it at the right time to put in. For that, we are doing it but selectively. It does help because certain people, the lining of the uterus, not always follow the nature, uh, the, the best timing. We have to check it out before we put in the embryo. We do offer that, okay? It does help but selectively, okay? Now, some people are asking, how about sex selection? A, actually, we are not encouraging too much the sex selection, but certain conditions, let's say the family has a certain genetic disease that happened in the male, uh, a boy, but okay with the girl, they go for this sex selection. They choose not to have a carry on a genetic disease, or with a, this uh, development of PGS machine, we can do the genetic testing before you even put that baby in, we know that they have any problem, Down syndrome or not, or is it abnormal one, is it a boy girl, it's one of the package. Huh? So basically, yes, we know how to select boy and girl, we know what is the, is it a boy baby, but all girl baby before they put in. Right? We bypass the routine step of the get pregnant and go and check it. That's for IVM. Alright? Alright, let's see if there are any more questions coming in. PGS. Well, you will come across a different wording PGS, PGTD, all these things. Basically, they're more or less the same thing. It's just that uh, in the general term, PGS, uh, pre -gen uh, genetic screening, they're just screening to make sure that there are 23 pairs of the chromosome are they in the normal range. They will even check whether boy or girl. If they're not normal range, for example, the commonest question people are asking is, uh, can it be a Down syndrome? That is not a difficult technology. Our machine can do that. Right? And then PGT, BG diagnosis, certain people they want to diagnose certain things. They want a specific thing. They want to know whether this baby having a dog, this uh, thalassemia or not, because the parents having the mouth problem. They want to make sure the baby do not have a major thalassemia. They want to exclude it out. That can be done. This is uh, a basic thing, a uh, principle about the PGS, PGD thing. Yeah? Okay, there's another question coming in. They probably have done a certain test somewhere else. If started with a, let's say, the husband probably have a, some uh, sperm issue. Either they have no sperm or low sperm. Now people are asking about, if I have no sperm, does it mean have no hope? Uh, basically, they, we have to go with more extent than that. Uh, uh, no sperm sometimes that means that they, uh, they don't produce anymore. Another group, they produce that couldn't come out, they'd be obstructed. The sperm is still there. So for those that have no sperm, for example, we, can, we have to do a further test, a simple test, to see what is the chance that we can take out the sperm for you for IVF purpose. Right? So when to have a no sperm, do not come to conclusion you are hopeless because there are two groups. One is a totally no sperm, one is a sperm couldn't come up. That is the part that we can do something for you. Alright? So if uh, one of the things is that uh, we do a physical checkup, we do a blood test for the man to decide which one is it. Right? Okay, and occasionally we need the uh, urologist to help us out to retrieve the sperm for future use. Alright? Okay, let's see any more questions coming in. Mm. So, as long as you can get a normal sperm or even a very few sperm, we can do IVF. Okay, but if the eventually fail to retrieve any sperm, sorry, the answer is of course no. No sperm, we can't, can't proceed. Right?
when to do IVF, when do I do IUI? Basically, before we come to the state to start IVF or IUI, we need to go through a certain uh, quite comprehensive checking. Uh, huh? We want to make sure that the couple is okay. Uh, for example, okay in the, set, in the sense that uh, well, they shouldn't have any major problem that uh, that doesn't encourage to go into pregnancy, heart problem, things like that. We are doing checking certain basic things like uh, shouldn't be having a certain infection that should be cleared off, like uh, a sexual infection, they should get take the treatment cleared off before embarking on this IVF or IUI program. So when to do it, if a toast already qualified, qualified to do IVF or IUI, uh, they normally follow the uh, menses cycle. Right? You follow the menses cycle means that just like a nature one, after the menses, your eggs start producing. We do the same thing. After the menses come, by a certain day, we start stimulating you. And then when the egg mature, we take it out. This is called IVF. Okay? In a simple way, we follow the cycle. But uh, I do not think the uh, exact detail of the IVF or IUI cycle should be so important. Because uh, different people vary. Because uh, some people have no regular cycle. We can't really time it. Well, what do we do? We help you regularize it before you can do it. Alright? Okay? Mm. Okay. Now, uh, so the take home message for today is that uh, we are here to help. We can create a miracle, but we are trying to overcome the problem that can be overcome with the latest technology. Uh, this only thing you come forward, we do a check for you, we give advice. We are not trying to say that you must do IVF. Okay? Okay, if there are any more questions uh, on the topic today, if you feel like you can just post it on our Facebook live page or send a message on our Facebook Messenger and then our team will respond to it as soon as possible. And thanks for uh, with me and uh, have a good day today. Thank you.